Hola and welcome to beautiful Barcelona. Can you guys believe this is the view from our hotel? Maybe not something everyone would do in Barcelona, but a lot of fun regardless. So we've traveled to a lot of different places in Europe and we've seen so many churches. So that one, not quite like the rest. The capital and largest city of the autonomous Catalonia region of Spain, Barcelona is blessed with beautiful beaches, delicious food, and unique architecture. Join us for a weekend in this amazing city, exploring classic sites and some more unexpected experiences. like it's been a hot minute since we've been able to travel together but truthfully that's just because that's what happens when you have visas to renew so while 2022 was the year of a drought in travel for sean and i 2023 we're starting off strong with beautiful barcelona and extended visas so we can stay in the uk for quite a while all right guys, so we just had a little bit of breakfast. We were at Billy Brunch, which Alicia's coworker recommended. Yeah, so thanks for the record for that. And controversial opinion, but I think it may have been probably the best breakfast I've had outside of Canada. It was really good. Also a really cool like little Instagram spot in the back there. So uh, yeah, be sure to check it out if you're in Barca. Yeah, and we're going to spend the rest of our day pretty much just exploring. So we're heading to the Gothic quarters. Yeah, it's kind of the oldest part of Barcelona. So we're just gonna wander around, see what we come across and we'll check in with you guys in a bit. So we've been spending the morning walking through the Gothic Quarter, checking all that out. We even saw a little elopement going on, which Alicia was super excited about. But now we've come down to the beach. Even though it's January, the weather's actually really nice. And there's actually a ton of people around as well. Kind of wishing I had the shorts and t-shirt today, if I'm being honest. For a quick and tasty lunch on the go, grab an empanada from La Fabrica. These Argentinian pastries are filling, and at only a few euros each, a cheap snack to get you fueled throughout your day. Alicia said her empanada was better. I don't know, I thought mine was pretty good, but point being, if you go to La Fabrica, you're gonna get a good empanada. We're sticking with the food theme here and we've come over to the Sant Santa Catarina market. So a lot of people, when they come to Barcelona, go to La Bocaria. It's considered kind of the main market in Barcelona. But this one's actually kind of a hidden gem. It's where most of the locals go. It's got lots of cool options. So if you just wanna go look around or if you do wanna get a couple bits and bobs, it's a good spot to check out. So there's two main reasons why we've been spending so much time today in the Gothic Quarter. First one is that it's really cool, really fun to walk around here. But the second is that Sean booked us an experience for four. So it's kind of a weird time. So a lot of today's just been spending time in this area to get to this experience. So we're here, it is now 10 to four. We had some time to kill, so we went to get some drinks, played mini pool, which neither of us were very good at. But to give some context, with this very cool experience. It was Sean's Christmas gift to me. And this year for Christmas, we decided to do something that we could do together. So I got him Mario Party. He got us something to do while traveling. Very on brand for our relationship, I think. So yeah, let's go see what this interesting thing is. The Husky House is Barcelona's first dog cafe. Natalia and Valentina host visitors from around the world, along with their four Huskies, Shen, Sherman, Shining, and Shirley. During the experience, you get to learn about the Huskies and of course you get to give them lots of pets and treats. It's definitely not an experience you would expect to find in Barcelona, but if you love dogs, it's certainly one you won't want to miss. So as you would have seen, our super cool experience was visiting some Huskies, which maybe not something everyone would do in Barcelona, but a lot of fun regardless. Hard to not have fun when you're just hanging out with a bunch of huskies who are all super chill and fun. And super cute. And I guess on that note, speaking of cute animals. So if you didn't watch our update video, we recently adopted her cat and her name is Gigi. And she's really cute and really sweet and we miss her a lot because it's our first time leaving her. So in her spirit, we went to a restaurant called, what was it? Gigi Von Tapas. So not quite the same, but I think she would appreciate it. And it was really good. So if you're in Barcelona, be sure to check it out. Yeah, probably one of the best meals we've had so far. And also the sangria was excellent. So now we're finishing our day how we started it, which is on the rooftop terrace. And of course we're gonna have some more sangria. So I guess we'll see what comes tomorrow. 
Good morning and welcome to day two in beautiful Barcelona. Today is all about exploring the works of Barcelona's most famous resident, Antony Gaudi. And we're starting it off at, without a doubt, his most famous work, the Sagrada Familia. And then we are going to a couple more things, but also starting at this spot is awesome for us because we're like, three minutes from our hotel, which is super convenient. Yeah, so we've had a great view from the rooftop the last couple days. Now we're gonna go and see what the inside actually looks like. The most visited site in all of Spain, construction began in 1882 and continues to this very day due to a combination of delays and simply how intricate the design is. Its distinctive style was influenced by Gaudi's three greatest passions in life architecture, nature, and religion. Construction is not expected to be officially completed until 2026, exactly 100 years after Gaudi's death. That being said, the church is mostly finished and the inside is just as spectacular as the outside. A standard entry ticket costs 26 euros, which seems like a lot, but honestly, it was amazing. We've traveled to a lot of different places in Europe and we've seen so many churches. So that one, not quite like the rest it was mind-blowing yeah i mean the architecture is unlike anything i've ever seen before the stained glass windows i mean that was like insane absolutely insane also fun fact so sean and i our dream is to eventually like buy a house and have a stained glass window don't know why just just a dream yeah that was reinforcing it today i would say so next up we've come to um park gel Yes. Which is a, another famous site here designed by Gaudi, and it's got lots of beautiful nature, but also some really cool buildings. So we're gonna have a little walk around and see what we find. The park consists of a number of buildings and structures built between 1900 and 1914, and was originally supposed to be a housing development, but there wasn't much demand at the time, and the project was ultimately abandoned. In 1926, the area became a public park, and in 1984, it officially became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Entry to the site is 10 euros, and in addition to the unique buildings, there's also plenty of beautiful nature to enjoy as you walk through the park. So a short bus ride away from the park, and you end up in the... Example? Example. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it down here for you guys, just so you can see. So I was really excited because as soon as we got off the bus, I saw Sephora, but they're closed because it's Sunday. But we're not here to go to Prada and Fendi, which you can do. Yeah, this is a great area if you want to do your high-end shopping, but there's also a couple of Gaudi buildings here. So you have the Casa Batlo and the Casa La Pedrera. Tra Pedrera? Oof, can't speak today. But as you just walk along, you can see the beautiful gaudy buildings. So if you didn't get your fill from the Sagrada and the Park Gal, come down to Exempla. Morning guys, third and final day here in Barcelona. So where we are right now, you can probably see behind us has a beautiful view of the city, but we were meant to come here yesterday and then we kind of got rained out. Yeah, we got the rare rain in Barcelona, but I guess that's what you get for coming in January. Yeah, so instead of going last night, we woke up super early this morning and we decided to come to... The Montjuic Palace. So it is this massive, impressive palace, but it's on top of this hill, which has beautiful views overlooking the city. So if you look this way, you get this gorgeous city view. And then if you turn... Whoop! And look this way you get the palace view. <laughs> so unfortunately, this is our last stop here in Barcelona because we have a plane to catch. Thank you guys so much for coming along as always. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. 